Um, so the video here is actually my losers match, right? But for winners, I got to play someone you might know. I don't know if you've heard of him before, but his name is uh, Filipino Champ. That's strange. It's the same person. That's right. I actually played him twice. Okay, so this is this is a bit of an exclusive. This is for the people here who decided to show up. Uh, you're getting a cool story. You're getting something that you would never have known about iHeartJustice. And I've told this story to a few people, and I I think it's worth putting in a video now. I I can see no better time. But yeah, I I've been in the scene for quite some time, and, and one of my first few matches ever uh, was against this guy. There it is, big big reveal. This is Young Hobby. This is almost ten years ago. It's nine years ago. Nine years ago. Young Javi, playing Noah, playing Noah. Yep, the little kid. This was my first match ever uh, in tournament, in tournament play. I had never entered a tournament with him. My small group of friends that we played with, uh, just, just, just at like a college we were at, were like, hey dude, you should go to this tournament. It's called EVO. I was like, oh fuck it bro, let's all roll. So we all rolled up, paid entry fee, showed up. My first match was on stream. Young Javi with a little glint in his eyes, you know, a lot of, a lot of character, a lot of, a lot of hope. Uh, entered in his first yeah, first match and he played uh, Young Noah, who was already sponsored at the time. And for those who don't know, uh, this this kid's like seven seven eight years old. He's he's a very young kid, very very young kid. Um, and he was my first match ever in the tournament. And my first match ever was also on stream. So I was fucking terrified. I was fucking terrified. I was like, bro, I can't believe uh, my first match is is against this kid. I don't even know who he is. Uh, he's playing Hulk. I'm playing my normal team, my same team of Phoenix Strike, Captain America, Doctor Strange. And I'll just let you, I'll, I'll let a couple seconds play just so you know how it's going to turn out. That's all you need to see. That's all you need to see. That's all you need to see to know how this turned out. I got thrown one time and I was like, it's not it. It's not it. I fucking, I lost. I lost handily, handily. I think it was like 31 and I choked everything. So why does this matter? Why is this relevant to... The video we just watched, you might ask. Well, allow me to elaborate. So prior to that match, I was sitting in the front row and I remember very distinctly that Noah was sitting about four seats to the right, to the right of me. And you know, I'm trying to keep myself pretty calm, my mental high, like, oh, I don't, this is crazy. Like, I, I don't want to be late. I hope I, I don't miss the call. Like, I'm gonna sit right here, like he told me to. Uh, oh my God, I hope I don't trip on the stage, you know. Uh, I haven't really been in the fighting game community that long, but I, I like my homies. I like uh, I like the energy I feel from my homies. This whole vibe is cool, you know. I'm, I'm really looking forward to what happens from here. Um, but I'm just so nervous, God. I just just so nervous, right? So then uh, a couple people walk in front of me. There's a little like a little small a, a little group of homies, right? They walk up and they're like. Noah, is that you, Noah? Right, so they obviously recognize Noah. They know who he is. I don't know if they're friends, but uh, they're like, Noah, oh my God, are you are you playing next? Are you gonna play on stream? That's awesome, you know, just trying to be nice to the kid. Like, who's this? And then they point at me, right? The one guy points at me and then the homies are just like, is that, is that, is that who you're gonna body? Is that, are you, are you gonna body this kid? Fuck him up, dude, good shit. And then he walks away. And I was like, damn, that fucking sucks. Like, whoa. What up? Like, like, bro, this is this is my first match ever. Like, this sucks. Like, like, why would you say that shit? Like, I couldn't even I didn't even understand that I was being I was being shit talked here. Like, I was like, damn, that like later on when I was able to process it more fully and I wasn't so embedded in the match, I was like, damn, that dude just talked to he shocked shit to me. Like guy's a bum, right? Him and his homies, they they're all bums. Fuck them. Like I I had to grow into that, right? Because I, I'm just this fucking wide-eyed kid who wanted to play Phoenix right. And I got to play on stream for the first time. And I'm in my first match ever, ever in a tournament is against this little kid. Um, and I'm, I'm like, fuck, dude. And no one wants to be that guy that loses to the kid, right? No one wants to be that guy, right? So I am I have so many emotions and I didn't think that I'd hear that shit from, I guess, someone in the community. I didn't really know. Someone who I didn't even fucking know, bro. Like, whatever. So um, years later, I'm progressing. I'm coming through. I'm really coming together as like a fighting game player, my own entity. I'm growing into my thing. And then I sign up for this tournament. I go to this tournament. I make it to top eight. I had the opportunity, the rare opportunity to play someone in top eight. So this is actually my winner's match. Um, so the video here is actually my loser's match, right? So this is my loser's match. Uh, I got dropped into losers by Ryan LV. But for winners, I got to play someone you might know. I don't know if you've heard of him before, 
but his name is uh, Filipino Champ. That's strange. It's the same person. That's right. I actually played him twice. But people, a lot of people know that. A lot of people already know that. What people don't know is that F Champ is the same guy that told me that I was going to get fucked and talk that shit to me in 2013. That's the fucking guy. That is the guy who said that shit to me when it was my first time at a tournament. Look, you, you, you need more evidence, bro? I got you. I got you. Here it is. Look, check it. This guy, he's already, actually he's already gone. He, he left in this one. <laughs> Lol. He bounced. This guy right here on this, in, in, this, in the chair. This guy right here was the guy who, who, who first talked shit to me in my first ever tournament, in my first ever on stream match. Didn't know who I was and said some fucking rude ass shit. Well, look, well, <laughs> lo and behold, check it, chat. Check it right now, because there's a there's a winner in both of these matches. And it's not, it's not him. He's not popping off. He's not popping off. This is me popping off. That's me popping off. That's the story. That's the story. That guy talked so much shit to me in my first ever tournament, and I never forgot. I never forgot. I remembered his face. I didn't know who he was. I didn't know who the fuck said that shit to me. And I was too much of a bitch to even know what happened. It took years for me to kind of compartmentalize what really occurred. And I never forgot. When I first sat in that chair, dude, I was like, wow, this is fucking crazy. Wouldn't it be crazy if I fucking pushed this shit in, dude? That'd be wild. That would be wild. Yeah, F Champ historically, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real. We're all, we're gassing people up. We're talking a lot of shit. But F Champ has done a lot of great stuff for the Ultimate Marvel vs. Three community. He really has. And for a lot of people, he's actually been an inspiration and done a lot of stuff. That being said, he loved his villain persona. And while sometimes it's been really helpful and pushed a lot of people in the community, it can also be very detrimental, right? It it like I'm I'm not taking credit where it's due. No, F Champ. Champ has done a lot of good things. I don't even hate the guy. I really don't even hate the guy. Um, like, like, there's no ill will at all. And and if he sees this video and feels some type of way, he can talk. To like, I don't even care. We're not we're not that close, but we we have respect for each other as people in the community to do a lot of good for it, right? But yeah, he played a villain, and he, I mean, back in the day, I don't know what he was going through, or what he was dealing with, but he definitely talked shit to me, bro. I was just some stranger. I was some kid. I could have never played fighting games again after that. I could have literally. Like if I was a bit if I was a bit weaker than that, I don't even want to say weaker. If I was just someone who who didn't have that drive to shut shut someone the fuck up, to, to turn around and turn that into motivation, I could have very easily just walked away. I could have said, you know what, dude? Fuck this place. Fuck the FGC. All these motherfuckers just talk shit to me. I just lost to some kid. Nobody had my back. It's I don't even care anymore. Like, and I would not have been in the wrong, right? Would I have been wrong? Would, would anyone here even say like, you know what, that makes sense or that's okay? Like, who would, who would blame me, right? I, that's protecting my mental peace. You know, and, and that's why, and, and, and I feel this, I feel very strongly about this. If you're in the fighting game community, you know, do your best to be good to people. You can, you can be a troll. You can, you can instigate a little bit. You know, I, I'm someone, I'm, I'm somewhat of a connoisseur of what's called playful shit talk, right? Not even playful, just tasteful shit talk, dude. Like, I'll roll up, I'll roll up to my buddy Heath, I'll roll up to Manny, I'll roll up to Retro, I'll be like, what's going on? Banter, banter, right? Like, that's a good word for it. Like, like, shit talk, banter, like, 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 witty, witty commentary. It, but, but you don't have to be nice about it, right? You can, you can be, you, or rather, you don't have to be like this saint angel person about it. The FTC has such a wholesome environment, yes, and that's such a great time. Um, but at the rally, we're fighting game players, bro. Like, this is the closest thing to being anime characters that we ever will be. And there's nothing wrong with throwing a little banner, throwing a little shit talk, you know, a little ribbing. Uh, and, and with good, in good faith, right? Like, know your limits. Don't talk shit to random strangers, right? You don't know what's, you don't know that person. You don't know, you don't know what they're going through, their life, their struggles. Like, I could have, I could have never played fighting games again. Uh, in a different world, I gave up. Doctor Strange, he went through all of the variations and he said, you know what, Javi, you don't need it. Just walk away. And, and, but in this universe, he said that shit to me. I never forgot him. I saw him for years and years and years and I never got a chance to play him. And the first time I played him was in winner's finals of this tournament. 
and in one of the most electrifying, ridiculous matches maybe ever had in Marvel, um, a classic David versus Goliath story, I fought. I fought and I kept fighting. Despite my own hands betraying me, I fought and I, I beat his ass, dude. I beat his ass with a character, with a team that never should win. That honestly, let's be real. Like, I, I try not to say, I, I'll bullshit, I'll say my team is garbage, I'll say whatever the hell I have to, whatever, but I, I try, you know? No one can say I'm not trying. And for me to get any wins, I, anyone can try to take them away from me. Maybe you don't, I don't know the matchup. You know, my, uh, uh, I, I, once I know the matchup, it's over, you know, whatever the fuck you want to say, dude, but I'm, I'm fighting. I fight every fucking time and I'll, I'll close off with a, a couple thoughts. Yeah. So like, you know what? Full circle. I got my revenge, whatever you want to say about it. Full anime story. I played him two times in tournament and I have a hundred percent win rate against F champ. Take that information how you will. I'll leave, I'll, I'll, I'll say this as like some closing thoughts, right? Like. Uh, just just be just be a better person bro in the fighting game community we have the privilege of of being able to to talk about something that is so fucking cool like like convene and have something that's so so entertaining that has so much passion so much love doesn't cost a ton of money we're talking like a console controller fighting game you are now part of the community right maybe not even that maybe you never buy the game you just watch it on stream you're stream monster you're part of the fighting game community maybe you go to one local and you decide you want to to you're fighting you're part of the fighting game community like we we can all be a part of it and do some fucking dope shit and you don't have to be a villain you can still talk shit and be a cool dude bro you can don't fucking say shit to random strangers you don't even know don't potentially ruin someone's desire to play a game or get better at a game or play a character play a fucking garbage character if that's what you want to do play whatever you want to do like you can make it work things are possible maybe it'll be harder but you can do it like it's not i did this so that you could do whatever you want i did this so that you could do whatever the fuck you want Woo. yeah sorry i still get like emotional thinking about this moment I still get emotional thinking about this moment. So cool, dude. It was such a defining moment. I beat his ass. I got my revenge, dude. I did it. I did that. If I could do that, we could do anything, bro. Anything's possible, bro. And that's it. That's it. I took my dub. There was my homie shaking the fuck out of me. I almost fell out. You know, F-Champ walking away sorrily, dude. And dude, the craziest part. Like, like, you can feel that energy, man. Fighting, game, fighting games are so sick. You can feel it. There's this whole crowd here. This whole crowd right here in the back. This entire crowd right here in the back. It started out as just a few people, but the match got to one, to one, one, to two, one, to two, two, to last round, to last characters, Dark Phoenix on the horizon, Powered up Phoenix, right? Like, this is it. This is crazy. Like, we are building our own anime arcs in fighting games. It's crazy. This this is what happened. We cr we crafted a story. F-Champ and I that day crafted a story. And I happened to be the winner there. I haven't told too many people this. But uh, right here in this moment, I knew Dark Phoenix was coming. I knew I had to do something. So I jumped. And people can say what they want. In my heart of hearts, in this moment, I landed. And I swore on my life. I reacted to the sound of a button here. I did my input and I knew she was dead. I knew I knew it. If you don't know, for those who don't know, Phoenix Wright's level three is considered a zero frame super. If you are not already holding back to block, if you're doing anything else but blocking, once the screen flashes, you are caught. There is no outplay. You are hit. And this moved a 600k damage unskilled. That is half, if not 60 to 70% of most characters' life, life bars. For Phoenix, it is her entire life bar. The entirety of it. I reacted to her in the air. I did my input on, and it hit frame zero. And the best part, chat, first fucking part, dude. The best part is once this animation started, I kid you not, F champ, looked at looked at the screen he looked at the screen he didn't know what was happening he stared at the screen controller in hand waiting for something to happen and he didn't know he was dead he's like fuck i'm dead right like i i see it in his eyes you know why i see it 
because just before that, right here, right when I did this input, here's what I did. I looked to my left, I stuck my hand out, and I said, GG's, the second this hit. The second this hit, bro, I kid you not, I am not fucking joking. I hit this input, true combo, level three, shake my hand. I fuck, I did that, I did that, I put my hand out. I knew, I knew after seven years of remembering that this motherfucker talked shit to me, I stuck my hand out because I knew it was over and he needed to get up. I, I'm not like, a, I'm not a spiteful person, bro. Like, I'm not someone who, I, as soon as I did it, I didn't like fucking go on Twitter and say anything. I didn't fucking do, I was just like, yeah. I was just like, yeah, I'm, that happened. Hold it. I just want to give a huge shout out to my patrons. That's right, I do have a Patreon. And if you want to support the House of Justice and all of the House of Justice endeavors, as well as the people behind the scenes, editors, artists, please consider supporting through the Patreon. Thank you guys so much. Without further ado, here's the rest of the outro. Take that!